Hey folks, and we're back. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be episode two of this that we're going to be starting here, but I really enjoyed uh, this game with the last episode. I mean, it's lighthearted, it's beautiful, it has great mu music, but at the same time it doesn't take itself very seriously. Um, there's a lot of style to this game, and I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I might be playing it all ahead of time and releasing the episodes every once in a while. <laughs> but I just want to play right now. Essentially, to give you guys a sense of perspective, this is a day after I released the first episode. And this hasn't been released right now, but let's see where this leads us. Ooh, lightning. I guess I still have to click. Yep. Again? Yep. Alright. Ep star. No, the star. The star was there before. Let's see. It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin session two of S SNS EP? I wonder what the EP says, stands for. Okay, so where were we? Alright, now I remember. You got a burdensome book known as the Megatome. You woke the deathless specter who still lurks in the darkness beneath Mingita. What a creep, am I right? It is a time of woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies and the lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity with psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. One, a sorcerer's touch will unseal the megatome, revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures and other esoteric material. Two, Strange sylvan sprites, swoses of s swarces of sorcery, slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows. Seek their subtle sonorous spumes. <laughs> nice. A sorcerer who can locate, summon, and tame the cosmic geometry of the golden trigon <laughs> will possess the ability to work miracles. Ugh. Confused? Excellent! Keep calm and carry on. <laughs> Aha! I remember that place. It's the place I decided not to go to last time. Oh, there's no dog. Let's see what happened. It's still the same. I got the... the megatome right here. And so I guess I'll just go this way. Let's see. Uh, can I? No, no, I can splash the water. Huh. Yay, I can splash in the water. It always seems so much louder when I'm actually playing the game. Uh, let's go to the village. Especially since a uh, uh, log cutter or wood cutter is the only one with the key to get through that door. Man, that's a lot of lightning. Oh, these things are splashing. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's go say hello to the dog first. Hello, dog. Talk to dude. The woodsman known as Logfella has given up on his wood chopping due to the sinister storm. Logfella reminded us of how the storm rolled in pretty much right after we had retrieved the Megatome from beneath Mingita. Was Logfella not so subtly suggesting that maybe we ought to try to do something to lift the storm? I think so. Let's see this. <clears throat> Inside the hut we spied a little round something or other above the hearth. Yes, same thing as last time. Uh, let's talk to a girl. Is that her name? The dark-haired girl known as Girl, yep, I was right, was feeling the woe. 
Ever since the storm began, the girl had seen the sonorous spumes of sylvan sprites who slumbered in the woods nearby. She wondered if maybe the three sylvan sprites could help lift the storm. Maybe. She asked us to investigate the sonorous spume bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. I don't know if I want to. The girl spoke of a sprite in a meadow nearby and yet another sprite in a nest box that was home to three rain-soaked songbirds. <coughs> the girl told, uh, told us to seek the sonorous spumes of these three sylvan sprites and send them skyward with a song of sorcery. Blah, 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 blah. This is definitely testing my diction. <sighs> Alright, oh. Wait a second. Do I know you? It is time to learn the Song of Sorcery, a consciousness expansion technique that reveals a mystical musical dimension. Ooh. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the sylvan sprite that softly slumbers in the cool waters of the deep water pond. I'm gonna have to remember this stuff, aren't I? Okay. Yes, I saw that. Tap and hold. Okay. That's it. Uh, tap and hold. Guide. Okay. Okay then. All right. Oop, the dog looks a little afraid. Tap. We sang a song of sorcery and summoned a slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters of a deep water pond. So strange. <laughs> My god. Let's go pet the dog. <laughs> pat, pat. There we go. Um, okay. So, if I recall correctly, I got these guys. The next, maybe I should go the other way. Hmm. Up this way. Oh, I have to talk to you first. Okay. Very nicely done. You've learned the song of the sorcery, and now the unfathomable power of the megatome is yours. That's it. That's all it took. The megatome intercepts linguistic thought tra transmissions, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking about something right this moment. Why not open the Megatome and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Um, look for a white triangle in the top right. Tap it and then equip the Megatome to reveal what is hidden. Top right. Um, okay. That. I guess it's equipped. Plus. Let's see. Hmm. Dark moon in seven days. Uh, let's see what's here. The archetype. As you can see, the megatome gathers and collects linguistic thought transmissions. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. To sing a song of sorcery at any time, tap and hold upon the Scythian for a moment or two and observe the gathering of sorcery aura. Once you have begun to sing a song of sorcery, tap and hold on the sorcery aura and swipe to look around. To stop the song of sorcery can be understood as a psionics technique. The song of sorcery... Uh, okay, let's start. I was here. The, to stop the song of sorcery at any time, simply double-click the sorcery aura that surrounds the Scythian. The song of sorcery can be understood as a psionics technique and allows you to perceive a reality within the one that you know. Uh... uh no, wait, okay, whoa, 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 okay, I'm going down. Uh, 
the expanded consciousness, the untapped and limited potential of the mind, is what we at Super Brothers refer to as sorcery. SNSEP does not produce the transcendent experience. It is merely intended to free the nervous system of ordinary patterns. The third aspect of setting is the cultural prevailing notions of reality and no reality and normalcy. We will avoid this discussion for now. Setting also includes a social aspect. We have found a social support. Uh, set. Set. Okay. This. Setting for positive. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, what about this? So, so this is the megatome? It, is it absorbing linguistic thought transmissions? Am I reading my thoughts <laughs> as I'm thinking them? <clears throat> Are my thoughts arranged chronologically in the order I thought them? So this must be what I was thinking a few seconds ago? Wait, why am I referring to myself in the first person? <laughs> I thought our story was told in the second person. <laughs> With the ceaseless storm overhead, we have learned that to sing a song of sorcery and summon a slumbering sylvan sprite. I'm getting better at that one. We just woke a sylvan sprite from a deep water pond, fringed with lilies beside a stone hut. We're not sure what it means. <laughs> uh, if I do this, nothing. Log fella is not really thinking of much. Girl, either. And dog? Dog fella. <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's close that. It's a lot of text. Um, as I was going to do before, let's go this way. Uh, oh, I see something there. Mm. Aha, that's where it is. Uh, Yep, I see ya. I'm supposed to do this, right? No? Let's double click on that. Let's tap tap it, I should say. Uh, mushroom! I eat the mushroom. Seems like it's a bad idea. Okay. And I am directing to tap. Um Let's see, what am I trying to get here? Okay. I guess that was one. Was it? No. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. Uh, okay, tap. This? I'm supposed to guide it, no? That's what the last one showed me. That? No? Okay, I guess I'll forget that for now. This is where I came in last time. Okay, let's go see if I can find the other one. Probably have to come back to this later. There was music that came along. I don't know. Oops. Yes, let's go to the dog. Well, let's go inside the house. Maybe the the girl seemed to know where these things were. So let's go talk to her again. Uh, feeling of woe. Just 
slumbered in the woods nearby. I wonder if maybe there's all the sprites. Chances to investigate the sonorous spume bubbling up from deep water. Got that. Uh, in a meadow nearby, and yet another sprite in a nest box. Okay. Okay, I guess uh, that, that was the meadow. Well, let's go see if I can get the other one instead. Go over that way. It's these weird techniques, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's definitely it. And I see that. Yep. I saw you. And... Yeah. Okay, I'm confused. Let's see what it tells me to do. Uh, maybe if I look around the arrow keys. Nothing there. It was easy last time. Why would you make it more difficult? Oh, okay. That worked. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box, surrounded by three rain-soaked songbirds. Okay. That was a bit more... Oh, what's this? What's going on? Oh. Hmm. Curious. Uh huh. I kind of wish I knew more about the Scythians' compelling and epic backstory, because I bet it would make sense of everything. <laughs> Still, there's something strange about how the Scythian behaved, almost as if she was being controlled by an unseen force. Nope, oh, nothing. <laughs> An unseed force. Ha! <laughs> I wonder who that is. Okay, now go all the way to the meadow. So I might as well just click all the way there. Let us let us follow. Well, now we have confirmation that the character here, the main character, is a she. All good. I don't think I'm going to make the voices f masculine or feminine, though. Let's see, so last time I was just clicking on things and and okay. Huh. Something going on here. No? Maybe you have to make him face all the same way? Nope. What is this?
Okay. Don't really know the point of that, but hey, I got it. The force of random clicking. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of worthless sheep. <laughs> okay, and the dog has joined us. Nope. Oh, okay. Um, where's the arrow? There it is. Is it the dog that wants to... Uh, that I can read? Yes. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. Scratching my ear. Bark, sniff, bark. Sometimes I grow weary of barking all the time. But a dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> ah, to be a dog. Uh, okay, I've seen the Scythians sing a song of sorcery and send the three sylvan sprites skyward. I wonder if it, they will help soothe the storm. Whoa, Logfella is freaking out about something. I wonder what's up. I'll just head outside and leave him be for a bit. <laughs> okay. I hope Logfella's fine. Oh, there's girl. Let's go talk to girl. The girl stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. She had left the comfort of the hearth in the hut because apparently Logfella was freaking out about something or other. Hmm. Let's go see what Logfella is freaking out. What's up? What's up? The woeful woodsman known as Logfella was totally freaking out about something. <laughs> Apparently Logfella had lost the key to the locked door in the stone wall that blocked the old road to Mingita. Uh-oh. We were, like, grown. Not another fetch quest, am I right? <laughs> Logfella told us he had been sitting right there by the fire when he had fallen into a deep sleep. Lockfella said he thought he had lost his key in the twilight realm of dreams. Ooh. He had heard about the strange dreams of the dark-haired mountain folk of the Caucasus, so this made perfect sense to us. Just a bit of a clearing of the throat there. Lockfella invited us to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. Okay. Um, got more stuff here. I guess this is Logfella. Oh, and the, this guy too. Oh, nuts. Where has my key gone? I'm so upset and ashamed, so now I'm totally freaking out. Oh, whoa. I wish it wasn't raining outside. Wish my boots weren't so wet. I wish I could go back to my wood shopping. Nuh, nuh. Seek a warm hearth and allow sleep to come to discover the threshold of liminality. The threshold of liminality is a space in between wakefulness and dreams where directed thought is impossible. We think of wakefulness in the mythopoetic psychocosmology of dreams as separate states. However, they interoperate in curious ways. <sighs> I didn't even know those were words. Okay. So... Um... Inside the hut, the hearth was quietly crackling with familiar warmth. Maybe right here? Sitting down and sleeping while sitting. Okay then. Hmm. Ooh, it's a disc. A big old disc. Side A. Ooh, side B. Let's see where this takes us now. Dream. A 
serve. Hmm. The bunnies are running away. I observed that, that thing running away as well. <laughs> hmm. The reflection is fine. Let's see if I go this way. And leave that thing alone for now. More stuff. The mushroom. Hmm. I can do that again. Oh, okay. Let's see what the megatome has to say. Lark fella. I sure hope the dream walking Scythian can find my lost key. I lost it on the sandy shore of a placid lake. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, no. The deer ran away. Uh, hopefully I find a placid lake somewhere. Oh, there's a person here. Why, hello there. In a secluded grove, we met a mysterious fellow hanging out beside a crackling fire. That's it. Oh, make it home. Can access this guy now? Oh no! It's, uh, I've had this little song in my head for ages. Just a few little notes that loop over and over. I wonder what's that about? What that's about? Okay. Let's see if I sit down. Nope. Oh, just that dude playing the same song over and over. I don't think I'll find a lake up there, but uh, I'm exploring. So sue me. Hmm. Wait. Oh, oh, well, there we go. I'm just right here. Hopefully it's not this huge map where I'm getting lost all over the place. But here's a sandy shores of a lake. Oh. Let's get another one of these. I don't know if I can. Oh, it's shiny. Eat the mushroom and I still have no idea what this means. Hmm. Yeah, no idea. This is this is the thing about this game, it's a lot of guesswork. Oop, he's just running away completely now. Like how the rabbits produce music while they run away. Okay, yeah, no. Let's go this way again. Uh, okay, oh, there it is. Awesome. Oh, what's this? I guess I'll sit down on it. <laughs> sure, first thing I do whenever I see a creepy chair is I sit down in it. Especially if it just materializes in front of my face. 